Hello there. Are you feeling useless? Out of shape? Bored even? Yeah, you are, and I'm here to help you. My name is Caleb Hernandez, and I'm here to demonstrate and show you how you can remain useful, stay in shape, and never be bored again, thanks to our good friends at Konami and Nintendo. To follow along, make sure you keep your copy of Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix and your Konami Action Pad by your side. Feel free to pause the tape right now and get ready. The traditional video game formula is simple. You construct an endearing character, you make up a story, and you grab a controller, sit down, and escape into the magical world of fiction. But just like in any medium, especially one that involves creativity, there are bound to be people that'll push the limits and try to produce something new and unique. With that being said, over the years we've seen a lot of new and creative takes on video games. Let's go back to the 1980s. There were plenty of simple, high-score based games like Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. But during this time, we would also see the introduction of the light gun. This controller would step away from the traditional joystick setup and popularize a more hands-on and interactive way of playing. Fast forward a whole lot of years later and there's no doubt you've seen these types of games before. Those trippy looking games at your local movie theater arcade, you know, the shooter game you suck at, the racing games you suck at, or even those claw machines that you suck at. But let's not forget that one game, that one you always stare at in awe, but never play due to your social anxiety and fear of judgment. Dance Dance Revolution, yeah you know it. In case you're not familiar with DDR, it's a rhythm based dancing game. You can easily identify this machine by its arrow marked floor and incredibly loud speakers. The concept of this game is simple, pick a song to dance to, once the music starts be sure to stare at the screen and pay close attention to the arrows that are coming up and match them with the arrows at the top of the screen. Sounds easy enough, and it can be, except it also isn't somehow. Konami introduced Dance Dance Revolution in 1998. Since then, the series has really taken off, continuing to spawn a massive amount of sequels, spin-offs, and various copycats. However, in the year 2005, the DDR series would seek an ambitious collaboration with one of gaming's most iconic mascots. The icon in question? Well, that would be none other than Super Mario himself. As to how this partnership even came into existence is beyond me, but if I had to guess, I would say that the idea seemed like a no-brainer to Nintendo and Konami. Let's get our highly successful franchises, combine them, and make a hit, right? Welcome back, cuties and, uh, not-so-cuties. Before we begin playing our copy of Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, we need to do a few stretches. Remember, it's important that you always stretch before playing such a highly physical game. Do as I do. Now that we're all limber and loose, let's just take our bad girl right here and plug it straight into our Nintendo GameCube system. Be sure you have plenty of room to place your action pad on the floor. This is how you're going to control your game. Wait, this is my control- Are you si To begin, we step onto the action pad. That's it. There you go. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Obviously the goal here is to replicate what you would see in the arcade and have it in the comfort of your own home. That's right, burn those calories anytime you want. Let me show you how it's done. Replicating arcade actions is something that Mario Mix does very well. Unfortunately, I think that it replicates the arcade too closely in the way that there isn't a ton of content here. The newest thing here is obviously the game's story mode. This is not good. It's playable, but there's not much of a challenge. Now of course I'm not the 10 year old child that this game is designed for, but this game is rated E for everyone and last time I checked, I fit right into that category. Anyways. You have to get through story mode if you want to unlock everything in the game. For instance, you complete a song, you unlock it in free play. You clear a minigame, you get to play it whenever you want in minigame mode. But back to the story. Now, the story is... goofy. I mean, it's fine. The writing is sorta of charming, but that might only be because it's being backed up with Mario characters. And oh, isn't it just silly to see Mario and his friends dance around like that? 
I don't really want to say too much about story mode, because then I'll just spoil everything, but I mean, there's items, boss battles, I think I just spoiled everything. Listen up, what you want to do is start off slow. If you're a novice, be sure to stick to easy or normal difficulty. Now once you step it up, we're going to get a lot faster. Be sure to never look at your feet while you play, but always keep them moving and grooving. Now, with practice, you'll look a little something like this. Once you're feeling comfortable with moving your feet, do not be afraid to get your whole entire body involved, like this. One, two, three, four. Whew. I'm not sure what you're thinking, ladies, but I think it's getting a little caliente. <laughs> Now let's get serious, bad girls. Now, even though Mario Mix's story is pretty bare bones, I don't think you'll be spending a whole lot of time here anyways. You are going to be spending most of your time in free mode where you get to play any song on any difficulty for as long as you want. Which leads me to this, the most important part of Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, or really any Dance Dance Revolution, and that's the music. Real quick, I mentioned previously that there isn't a whole lot of content in this game, which is okay, I mean, of course the title aims to replicate the arcade experience, but since this is on an actual console, there could be a few extra playable characters other than Mario and Luigi. So, what about the music? Well, there aren't a ton of music tracks, but the songs that are available are actually pretty good. Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix's music is certainly a Mario mix. The game features remixed songs from familiar composers like Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, but also puts a fun spin on that good old Super Mario soundtrack that we've all come to love. <laughs> and man, I've gotta say, some of these remixes are actually pretty good, I'm not even gonna lie. What's that? You want some examples? Oh, I'll give you some examples. Okay, uh, don't mind me, it's just a little, uh, warm-up, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, so what, I might be seeing arrows everywhere and hearing nothing but electronic music, but but that's okay, I'm just feeling the burn, that's all it is, I I'm feeling the burn now. I'm also kind of feeling that post-DDR depression, but, but that's alright. Hey, if the depression burns calories, then that's just perfect, that's what we're here for. If you've been following along with this bonus Mario Mix VHS tape, then there's no doubt that you're already having a blast with your copy of Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. I know I... I sure know... I, I sure know I am. Look at you. Dance Dance Revolution isn't even that good, yet you've let it consume your life. It's like you're bound by chains to only talk about Mario Mix for the rest of your existence. You have to do something about this, man. You've gotta! If you haven't stopped the tape yet, thank you. But try to keep up, because we're about to pick up the pace, ladies. Oh, not again. For 
those of you that are witnessing this, don't forget to stretch. And remember, if you can touch your toes, you can get the hose. Bring it on, big man, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm afraid. Okay, I'm very afraid. Ah!